So Faith, you've just been awarded a grant from Dimbleby Cancer Care. Tell us a little bit about that. Those under 10, when we asked them about where they got their information from and who told them about things like the cancer they had or the treatment that they had, all of these children said that they would ask their, their mother or father. So when we asked the question, who gives you the information, mom, what, if mom's not there, dad does. So their information was all come from their parents. And then we started to think, well, if the information is coming from their parents, then how well are we as professionals preparing parents to undertake this role? Bearing in mind, they're having to give quite complex information, which they would never have known before their child was diagnosed. What does this research currently involve? Um, so what it will mean is that we are going to uh, interview parents. So these are parents of children with cancer receiving their treatment here at Great Ormond Street Hospital. We're going to interview those parents and we're going to ask them about things that they currently do, the kinds of information they give to their child, children, how easy is that or how difficult is that or what particularly helped them or what didn't help them. And then we're also going to talk to healthcare professionals and that's nurses and doctors or anybody who's been significant to that family in terms of professional and ask them about the kind, and I suppose here I'm thinking as well about play specialists who do an awful lot with families. So how do they help families? What do they find difficult? How do they give information? What works well? What does work so we just want a sense of the whole picture about how we do the role currently um, and then we can think about maybe how we might make that even better enhance it in some way with some kind of thing but the kind of thing i.e. what we would call in research the intervention we don't know what that is yet yeah. because we haven't asked families or professionals if your research is successful what will that mean for the average child who's suffering with cancer and their family i kind of think probably what it will tell us is the things they find difficult mm. and so what we hope is that we'll be able to give better information to children so let me just give you one example so we've been talking to children and young people who are surviving of cancer and some of those survivors don't know an awful lot about what happened bear in mind some of them were very young when they were treated but we hope if we can give better information very early on when they're young we can build on that information so when they are a survivor 20 21 22 which the majority will be then we hope they'll know an awful lot about what happened because we've gradually scaffolded and built up that information over time I think often the, fam the information that the families give might not be the right way to do things we don't know. We don't know. Um, we want to be sure that we give parents as much help as we can for them to describe. So if you want to talk to your child about something like losing their hair, you know, it's about when the hair grows back, what it will look like. There's lots of information you have to give. And we know from our other work that children particularly young children think once they've got something it will stay with them so oh I didn't know my hair would come back so we have to remember to give all that information and I know you said that the possible intervention could be a DVD for example but when your research is complete do you hope that it may be even bigger than that it may be that other service providers pick up on this or policies mm. are drawn up around your oh, research yes and I mean I'm not expecting clinicians to just pick it up I'm going to be much more active about that and we have very active parent organizations in this country um, and there's also an international parent organisation, so we will make sure that we're feeding our work into those organisations as well as professional organisations.